While the war on terrorism is concentrated right now in Central Asia, it is and has been from the start a global campaign. And as CBS News Chief White House Correspondent John Roberts reports tonight, other fronts will soon be opening in Southeast Asia and the Pacific. The Pentagon today confirmed the U.S. will soon send military advisors to the Philippines to help train and equip local troops in the fight against guerrillas linked to bin Laden. It is the first concrete signal that the U.S. is actively expanding its war on terrorism. Eventually no corner of the world will be dark enough to hide in. The target Muslim in the Philippines is the Abu Sayyaf group, Muslim rebels who have made millions from the business of kidnapping foreigners. The group is already on the Treasury Department's list of al-Qaeda allies. Filipino officials say the U.S. role will be strictly non-combatant. Secretary of State Colin Powell today downplayed the notion that the U.S. is poised to act militarily elsewhere in the world, but it was clear that the war will be global. And we'll be persistent, we'll be patient, but we'll be determined to not only get rid of the al-Qaeda network, but to deal with terrorism around the world. Southeast Asia is a hotbed of terrorist activity. In addition to Abu Sayyaf, it was from the Philippines that Ramzi Yusuf hatched his 1995 plan to bomb 12 U.S. airliners. Other nations in the region, Malaysia and Indonesia, have their own problems with rebels and terrorism. And it's the anti-American sentiment on display today in places like Jakarta that bin Laden is attempting to tap into with his calls for a holy war against America. President Bush has received words of support from the region's leaders, but the White House will risk destabilizing countries that it includes in its global war unless it treads very carefully, says former Assistant Secretary of State Dick Solomon. If we intervene too directly, too overtly in many places, we can destabilize, weaken the credibility and the standing of the existing governments, and in that sense play into the hands of of the terrorists. Philippines President Arroyo is expected to visit the White House and the World Trade Center site in November. She is expected to voice her support for the war on terrorism, but as one national security expert put it, don't expect to see Delta Force land in the Philippines. Dan? John Roberts at the White House.